Good morning kids and welcome back to new video. This is teacher Farah Zareq from Oxford Schools and I hope you're doing super well. Alright, in today's video we will continue with From Seed to Plant. We will be covering pages 352 to 355 in the Journeys Common Core Students Book. This is part 2 of this text. Now let's get into it. So over here we are seeing two beautiful red flowers. Some of it still closed because it is ungrown yet. Once it grows, it will open like these. All right, over here we have this tent, green leaves, some thorns. Remember, kids, the middle part of the flower is called stigma. Stigma. It is the sticky part that has the pollen. Sticky part over here is the stigma. It is the middle of the flower. All right, now over here we are seeing some traveling grains. Let's find out what is going on. So before a seed can begin to grow, before a seed can begin to grow, a grain of pollen from this stamen must land on the stigma at the top of the pestle of a flower like itself. So as, we, as we're seeing here, the pollen is traveling from one flower to another to land on the stigma at the top of the pestle of the flower from itself. So both of them are from the same type of flowers. They are from the same kind. Why? Why do you think pollen has to travel from one flower to another? This is called pollination. Pollination. Pollination happens in different ways. The first way is when the wind blows away the pollen from one flower to another. Often wind blows pollen from flower to flower. Again, kids, this is called pollination. Pollination. When the wind blows away the pollen from one flower to another, it is called pollination. This is the first way, this is the first method of pollination. Let's figure out another way. Bees, other insects, and hummingbirds help pollinate too. While they visit flowers for their sweet juice called nectar, pollen rubs onto their bodies. Then they carry the pollen to another flower where it comes off onto its pistol. Let me show you how. So over here we have some hummingbirds. And over here we have this bee, butterfly, type of insects over here. All of them, they try to reach the nectar of the flower, the sweet one. The pollen gets stuck to their body, to their body, sorry. And once they travel to another flower to get another nectar, the pollen comes off at the pestle of the next flower. This is how they help in pollination. So the first method when the wind um, blew away the pollen and in the second method um, when the hummingbirds, bees, other insects help pollinate. How? They try to reach for the nectar like this and their, the pollen um, gets on their bodies and once they travel for another flower it comes off then. All right. Now let's move. Move on, sorry. If a pollen grain from a flower lands on the pestle of the same kind of flower. So, if a hummingbird um, moved a pollen from a tulip to another tulip, then it will be a success because it will not grow, um, for example, a daisy. So if a pollen grain from a flower lands on the pestle of the same kind of flower, it grows along tube through the pestle like this. Over here it will grow a tube into an ovule. Into the ovule over here. This is the beginning of a seed. All right. The seeds grow inside the flower even as the flower begins to die. 
as the seeds become bigger, a fruit or pod grows around them. The fruit or pod protects the seed. So over here, the pollen, it says that if the pollen lands on the pestle, this is the pestle, the middle part over here, the green one, of the same kind of flower, it will grow a long tube, it will grow a long tube to an ovule, and then, this is the beginning of the seed, then we'll ha what will happen? So inside the flower, we will have a pod. Do you remember the shell that protects and holds the seeds? It will grow and protects the seeds that will grow inside, just like a baby in their mama's tummies. All right. So when the fruit or pod ripens, it breaks open. The seeds are ready to become new plants. So when the pod or fruit ripens, as in they um, reach a mature age, it will break open and then the seeds are ready to become new plants. Some seeds fall to the ground around the base of the plant like this. So they will fall here and then they will grow another plant. Some pods or fruits open and the seeds pop out. Sometimes when the birds, when birds eat berries, they drop the seeds. This is the ways how the seeds fall from the flower to the ground and they grow another plant. Other seeds fall into streams, ponds, rivers, or the ocean. There, they travel in the water until they stick to, a, to a dirt along the shore. The shore is the land around sea or ocean, like this. The land around the sea or ocean, it is called shore. So some seeds travel and reach streams, ponds, rivers, or the ocean. So when they travel on the water, they keep traveling until they reach or stick to dirt along the shore, and then they will grow the plant. The wind scatters seeds. How? The wind will scatter the seeds, scatter as in to blow it away and dispute it. So the wind scatters seeds, some seeds have fluff on them. The fluff is like this. This is the fluff. So they will have some fluff on them that lets them float to the ground like tiny parachutes. Look over here. So inside of this, inside of the fluff, we have seeds um, that was grown by the same flower. So the wind blows them away and the seeds are scattered everywhere to, everywhere to grow another plants other plants sorry so that lets them float like uh, to the ground like tiny parachutes so thanks to the fluff seeds will be able to travel to far away places other have wings that spins as they fall. So this, the whole purpose, they are showing us how did the seeds grow and how they travel and let other plants of the same kind of flower grow. This is it for today's video. I hope you had fun. Thank you for watching.